How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Terraforma Craft Reloaded 2. So, you will see that there have already been a few changes here. I decided to go ahead and upgrade the smeltery. I did this off camera pretty much right after the last recording was done. Uh, I really wanted to get it done, but you'll notice the top's looking a little bit different, huh? It's, it's, it's seared stone instead of seared bricks. What's up with that? So, I couldn't actually figure out how to get the seared stone to turn into seared bricks without having to make a, t a different type of chisel. And I didn't want to go through all that, but I found an amazing way to process my grout. So instead of using the forges downstairs, I have found that I can just take the grout and put it in the smeltery. You'd think that I would have figured that out sooner, but it did take me a little while to decide to try that, and it did work. And so I can I can actually do this now. Check it out. Uh, also, I have played around with some settings in OBS. Uh, so I've added, or... Well, it was kind of already there, but I didn't really make any adjustments to it, so it might as well have not been there. Um, I have, a, I have a, a noise gate at this point, so hopefully it won't be as click-clacky. Uh, it, it, it'll still come through because I didn't I didn't want to lower it too too much to where uh, it just would never show up uh, or my my voice would cut in and out basically so there's there's got to be a balance to find uh, so right now it's like like negative 32 decibels so like negative 18 something like that um, I think or 18 18 not 19 uh, oh, and that's four blocks so I can do that four times and then add in another section and that's much faster. And the cool thing about this is the higher I build it, or the more I do this, the higher I can build it. And the higher I build it, the more space I have inside, which means the more grout that I can process, so the faster I can upgrade it. It's, it's insane. Also, someone was telling me that I should change this setting for the, the sun glare uh, to like 0.1. So I'm going to be doing that. Someone also mentioned, and I think this might have been the same person. My memory is terrible, and I apologize. I don't have it pulled up at the moment. Um... Someone else mentioned that Journey Map saves no matter what. So I'm going to try to see if I can find this real quick, and hopefully I won't be a complete what's about it. Is it Actions? Auto Map? No, that's not it. Check for update, save map, about, no, it's none of those. Let's see, was it under Advanced Options? Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. So I can't I can't quite see it at the moment, but I will definitely definitely be looking into that. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit more uh, seared. Uh, yeah, seared stone creation. Also, let me show you a little bit of things that I did. So I brought some iron over. You'll see a little bit of magnetite in here. And it doesn't look like a, a, a whole lot. That's because that's pretty much all I have left. Check this out. So I did some of this on stream the other night. Uh, actually, last night, I believe it was. Um, I did a, a, a relatively short stream of this just to get a little bit of progress done. Uh, I also went very far north. And I'm uh, after making a... Uh, where is it? Is it not up here? Maybe I did put it downstairs. I didn't see it. Uh, but this. I went out north and I found some ice. And some snowballs and limestone and whatnot. But I also found limonite. Oh, I already processed the limonite. That's right. Uh, but let me show you how much easier it is to process iron these days. So I'm going to use the last. Well, no, I won't. I'll just use this much. Think. Look how fast this goes. No bloomery required. All I have to do is just throw in some raw iron directly into the smeltery. And it processes it straight into iron. Is that not amazing? This is going to save me so much time, and then the bigger I make this, the more I can process at one time. It's just, oh, 
This was such a good idea to build. I'm very happy with my decision on this. Oh, I totally forgot to process more ground. But also, just I just have to pour out once I have nine or more ingots. I just do this. And it's going to be amazing. Also, uh, I'm kind of doing a, a, a small test right now. So I, I'm, I'm actually about to be heading to bed. Um, but I it's it's been it's been bugging me that I've been doing things a certain way or that I could potentially be doing things a different way, rather. Um, and so I'm, I'm trying it. So this entire time I've been doing all of my recording onto my SSD, my solid state drive, because there's no moving parts in in an SSD. Therefore, there's less there's, there's less it's less susceptible to failure. Basically, uh, there's a there's a smaller chance of it failing, which means there's a smaller chance of video corruption, which is very important. Um, but also, it's just faster. So. The problem with that, though, SSDs tend to have less storage capacity, at least for your money. Uh, so the max storage size of my solid state is 256. It's also the same drive that I'm running my operating system on. That takes up a good portion. I have a few games saved onto it, mostly games that normally take a while to load. Um, in fact, this mod pack is saved uh, to my SSD. But... It's getting it's getting tight. I, I've I've been managing my my uh, my storage wrong basically, or my my recordings wrong. So what I have to do is record uh, record all the clips to an episode, then make sure that I'm gonna have enough space for another one, which I usually do. At least nowadays, now that I've cleaned up the the drive a little bit, uh, and once I've determined that I do have enough space for another, I'll go ahead and record another, and then that's all I can do. Then I'll edit the first one, process it, publish it, upload it, then delete the clips, and then save a backup of the final product to my hard disk, and then have everything else deleted, then work on the next one. That's kind of a pain, if I'm being honest, uh, and it limits me on how much I can do. And because of that, I'm changing things a little bit. So I am now currently recording this directly to my hard disk and hoping that it's going to come out OK. I'm going to review the footage in the morning um, after I get up and call my girlfriend and have a, uh, a nice, a nice morning. And I'm going to I'm going to review everything, see how it comes out. And as long as it comes out OK, then I think that's what I'm going to start doing, because I have almost 400 gigs free on my hard drive. I had like 60 free on my SSD, which means that I'll be able to start doing more. For example, recording a new series. I've kind of settled on Enigmatica 2 Expert on my next series, and I, I, I really want to start it soon. I really, really do. Uh, I'm going to be going on a week long vacation or 10 day vacation in about a month, and I want to be able to backlog some stuff before I leave. And I feel like that's going to be a great time for me to break into something brand new, get a bunch of stuff done, and then kind of try to publish things while I'm gone, if possible. So, yeah, that's kind of my plan. I've been kind of rambling for a good eight minutes or so. Um, so I don't know how much of this I'm going to leave in. I'm also kind of just halfway talking to myself. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to figure some stuff out. And uh, I'll, I, I really I want to get more serious about this. I really, really do. Um, not to go into too many details, but it's kind of hard for someone like me to get uh, the energy to sit down and do stuff like this, but I really do anything for myself, but you guys have been really motivating me in the comments, uh, and it, it, it really means a lot. What happened with this? Hello? That was weird. Anyway, uh, the motivation's been, been real, and I, I'm so appreciative of it, and that makes me want to produce more stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to produce more stuff. I'm going to I'm going to really crack down and, and start doing this. And yeah, I, I, I really hope it, it turns out OK. Um, I know some of you are probably only here for TFC and I get that, um, which is besides the fact that I'm enjoying it is one of the big reasons why I'm going to continue the series, not just um, start a new one and end this one, because uh, I have no intention of doing that. So I want to start a new one and continue this one, knowing full well it's going to be an increased workload. Um, editing usually takes a good while, and especially because I'm, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty fresh to it. I'm still learning new stuff. 
Um, but I'm enjoying it. It's it's really fun, and seeing the and seeing the finished product come out, it's it's a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of sitting here, almost twiddling my thumbs, um, killing the occasional zombie. But I mean, technically, I am making progress here, aren't I? I'm I'm building, building a nice big smeltery so we can really, really crack down on our ore processing. It is going very well in my opinion. It does consume a good bit of lava, but I think it's worth it. Let me do the rest of this. And then one more for another layer. It's 12 per layer, just with the layout that I built. If I did a a, uh, a four wide, four by four, then it would be uh, 16 per layer. There we go. So let's do this. Thank you, Smart Moving, for letting me climb up and down here. And obviously these types of seared stone uh, are safe for decoration. So what I could do actually is tear out these bottom pieces and replace them with this, but then these pieces would look kind of out of place. I don't know. It looks a little funny, but uh, we'll stick with it. That's only going to be three. This probably is not going to equal 12. It should be one ingot a piece. So that's one, two, three, not quite four more blocks. Yeah, almost four more blocks. So I might make some more grout, but I'm going to quit rambling. It's been about it's been a little over 10 minutes now. Um, I want to get some more stuff done during this episode while I have you all here. So, um... I did it more, more grout. Cool. All right, so I will. Uh, I'll check back with you here relatively soon, and hopefully, I'll have something more planned other than just some rambles. All right, I'll see you in a little while. All right, so everything looked okay. I went ahead and uh, changed up some settings, um, or not changed up some settings. What am I talking about? I reviewed the footage, and everything looked fine. Uh, I looked through some settings, and I could not find anything relating to uh, getting my journey map stuff back. Um, I went and found something from the journey map developers that said what to do, and it didn't work. The, uh, it said to look for an old data file. That data file didn't seem to exist. That's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do, now that I know that everything's going to work okay, I am going to take a trip. A, a, a long trip. I'm going to go find some iron, and I'm going to start some mining. Uh, I think I'm going to bring this pickaxe with me. It has efficiency on it, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I'm going to store away a little bit of stuff. I went and gathered some food from the old quote-unquote base. Um, a lot of it is in here. I harvested some more potatoes. There is a little bit of decay already forming pretty quickly on some of these, uh, which is unfortunate, but, you know, kind of got to deal with it. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing, though, it's getting very cold. It's already down to 15 degrees, and in the morning it was actually 4 so it's it's getting pretty chilly. Um, gonna be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, so I went ahead and made a new ch uh, a new. Um... No, I didn't. I already had the chisel. I don't know what I'm on about. I'm kind of sleepy. Uh, let me see. I think I'm just gonna grab this hammer. So that way, if I have any uh, chiseling needs, and I'll have that with me. I have a uh, a barrel on my back. So that'll make things a little bit easier. Uh, my fruit intake was getting very low, so I went ahead and grabbed some of the watermelon that I had back there. And at this point, I think I am safe to go ahead and start my travels. So I'm going to head out. I'm going to find some magnetite, which should be listed as a waypoint. Oh, that's malachite. I was about to say, why is there rich magnetite so close by? Let's see. I'm actually going to turn all of these off real quick. And let's see. Magnetite, magnetite. V. Iron mine. I might go back there, actually. I bet there's still going to be stuff there. There's also going to be limonite. Are those on the opposite sides of the map for me? Limonite. Oh. The iron mine. Eh, not too far apart, it looks like. That should be okay. So, I'm going to go do that. Wait a minute, can I get to... There's no way I can get to 80 here, right? Yeah, not enough, not enough of these grew for that. But I'm almost at 80. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little while once I've uh, gotten to the iron mine and gotten to gotten to work. See you in a minute.
All right. So that was a really long mining trip. Uh, I, I think I recorded like half an hour's worth of stuff, so it's going to be interesting to see how I managed to put that together. Uh, but, a little lag, but uh, I actually managed to come back up through the water. I don't know if I came to the right spot or not, but um, basically there was a there was a bunch of cave-ins, and one of them uh, was where there was some water. Yeah, right down there, uh, where that light's coming from. That is now my secret uh, entrance slash exit from the mine, so cool. But I did manage to get, I think, a decent amount of magnetite. Let's see. So this is all the iron that I managed to get. Uh, whoops. There. Uh, not too bad. I could, I could probably do better at a different place. But at this point, uh, everywhere where it was showing a large sample, or a very large sample, is now showing medium sample. So I pretty much burned that out. Uh, I did change the sun glare to 0.1, so it's less in your face, but it does still get pretty bright when you look straight up. Uh, so that's an uh, that's a thing. Uh, let me check out this area over here now that I finally understood movement. Let's see. Neat. 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 And let's take the obsidian totem. Oh, I never did study darkness. Okay. Obsidian tile. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and that actually gave me Tenebrate, which is darkness. Okay, let's see if I can get this right in my head. So we have Air, we have Ordo, we have Prodigio. So those things just automatic, those are those are prime uh, aspects, primal aspects. Then we have Examinus, which is next to Air. It's the little skull shape. Uh, that is basically undead. So I believe that is going to have... Let's see, so for undead... Well, also, and, and the one next to it for death, uh, Mortis. So that is going to have to have life in it, which means it's going to have Aqua and Terra making up it. So that, that means that we now have Air, Aqua, Terra, Ordo, Prodicio. The only thing we're missing is Ignis. We just got Tabre, which I'm pretty sure has Lux in it, which means it has Ignis. So this actually is a candidate for an Energized Node. Let's see, so potential energized node. So just stick that there. Uh, so basically, what happens is, and whenever you're making an energized node, you have to have either six primal. Well, you don't have to. You'll want six primal aspects or compound aspects that are made up of the six primal aspects. The reason you make an energized node is so that you can pull V from it uh, to reach charger wand, uh, to power certain certain blocks. Uh, there's there's several reasons you want to have an energized node. I want one to be able to recharge my wand. That's that's step one. There are energized nodes that I can make with specific uh, sets of V for later. Uh, for example, I can probably make an arcane bore. Which is basically think think of a build, buildcraft quarry, but sideways uh, and with a slightly different pattern. So they do they do look pretty interesting. Uh, I need to get back home. Where is home? I almost hit remove on that. Uh, home close to the breathable. Cow. Oh, new home. Perfect. I need to make a new boat because naturally mine broke as it usually does. There's my uh, there's my mine entrance. Um, there was so much caving in. I actually got a little bit desperate to gather more iron, so I just uh, I dug a big box and didn't end up even getting that much out of it. So it was a little disappointing, but that's OK. There are more places where I can start mining iron. For example, I turned off my all, all my waypoints, but there's an area for limonite that uh, that I showed earlier. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, let me do this real quick. There we go. Place the boat, and yes, I know it is pitch black. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, an arcane bore is something that I kind of want to start working towards. And if I remember right, I pretty much just have to power it with Terra V. So all I need to do for that, once I get to that point, is find a node that is a large Terra node, which I actually, come to think of it, I have found one. I'm pretty sure I marked it. Did I not?
Well, I thought I did. Uh, it was it was close to the it was close to the house I remember, uh, but I guess I didn't mark that one. Oh, I need to check out the grottos. Huh. Well, regardless, somewhere I saw a large Terra node, and so if I can find that, then I can capture that one, turn it into an energized node, and use that to power the tunnel bore, or the arcane bore, uh, so that way if I find an area where there should be a significant amount of ore, then I can dig down, place the thing, uh, connect it to some chests, maybe build a hopper? Hoppers are kind of expensive, but I might do it, and then go from there. I thought that was a totem? It's not. It's just... Sugar cane. What a weird thing to confuse for a totem. A node over there, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's a node right there. Could barely see it. I'm going to ignore that. Oh, speaking of, I don't... Oh, I didn't bring my wand with me. Um, I talked about this on stream, so I forgot to talk about it during the, uh, during the first... Uh, little hello. Uh, I filled my brand new wand, uh, the wand that I, make, uh, that I made last episode out of the gold banded uh, caps and the great wood core. I filled it uh, and I did it the way that I said that I might. I went down to the bottom level of the ro roguelike dungeon and I started killing everything. I found that that's actually not as efficient as I thought it was going to be because for some reason I really struggled getting Ignis V which I find very interesting. Uh, without Ignis V, uh, it, I, I can't get a full wand, so I can't do everything I need to do. So I, I spent a good half hour or so down there just killing things, which, to be fair, isn't a bad amount of time, especially considering the fact that I'm not running around the entire map trying to find nodes to refill my wand with. So it's not bad, it's just not the best. But these are reasons why I'm looking to get the Energize node, so that I don't have to refill anything. There we go. Have a little lava pit over there. We're about to hit ground, but it's probably going to break my boat. It always seems to. Okay, I know it's really dark, so I think I'm just going to... Oh, we're... oh, cool, my boat actually didn't break. Awesome. Place a torch there. Uh, it's super dark, so I'm just going to go ahead and walk back, and uh, I'll check back with you in a minute. So, I need someone to tell me why me scanning lava got me aqua. <laughs> I also scanned sulfur, and it gave me Victus, which is kind of cool. I don't really know why, but it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to see if I can scan this creeper real quick, actually, because you can scan mobs. Cool. Oh, ho, ho. really throw things with this guy. Uh, ooh. I think I can scan the XP orb. Yes. It's me, Kanishia. That's pretty cool. Okay, sorry. I know I said I was going to be back when I got to the house. So now I'll be back when I get to the house. All right, so I just got back. I'm going to scan the zombie. Neato, neato. So now I kind of want to go ahead and start looking into the requirements for the Energize node. I don't think I actually ever did all the research that I said that I was going to do between episodes. I don't remember. Let me go take a look. Did I ever actually do that? Maybe I did. Grab you, grab you. Well, I don't see it in any of the storage things, so I'm pretty sure I did it. So let's take a look at the Thaumonomicon. I must have. So I need to do Node in a Jar, which uh, is super important. And... I need to get towards that. I think I have to study Infusion first. Ooh, and I need to do the Node Stabilizer. I think I need to do this and this and possibly this to unlock Infusion. The Arcane Levitator is just a cool thing to have. Uh, there's several things I need to unlock. Some of them just don't seem to make sense uh, towards getting something. Like the Arcane Ear, I think, is required to get the door for some reason. So let's do a little bit of this while we're, uh, while we're thinking about it. Can I put my stone? Yeah. Put some of the more miscellaneous stuff over here. 
Oh, and I did find uh, a couple Ender Pearls. There was a there was an Enderman walking around at the island with the Magnetite, and I killed it dead. And now I have stuff. As is the natural order of things. So let me. Where's the paper? Did I pass it? Ah, there you are. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do that. I never did scan those scribing tools. Thank you. What about the watermelon? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a little bit. There it is. The infusion research. I can finally research infusion. I say finally, I haven't really been working towards Thaumcraft all that much, to be fair. Uh, so I'm a little concerned. I have pretty much run out of Ordo. I did that very quickly. Uh, that's, uh, that's not good. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I can do at this point. I did go ahead and get research expertise, which is very useful. Um, so now I have some other... I, I can look over everything and it'll show me the uh, the primal aspects, or what aspects make up that compound aspect, including other compounds. Uh, so this one is going to be Cognitio, or Cognitio. I can do that, and I can do that, and put Lux into the mix. But that is... Oh, actually, I might be able to make that work. Mayhaps. And then I can do that and lead it into that. So that works. Cool. So we just unlocked Infusion. Which I'm pretty sure then it gives us the ability. Yeah, we can make all these tools now. Uh, the Infusion Altar, I'm sure, is going to be pretty, pretty expensive. Yeah, it's going to require several shards just to make that. That's not that bad. It's everything that comes after it that's going to be pretty rough. Uh, because it's going to require... Uh, distillation, essentiate, essentiate distillation, which is, where'd you go? Here, so you basically melt things down, put them into warded jars, and it's, eh, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit complicated, so it's going to require a good bit of gold, it's going to require a lot of these tubes, it's going to require a good bit of iron, um, it's, it's going to be interesting, uh, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to get into that quite yet. Uh, but in the meantime... Oh, and then there's the Applied Energistics version of everything, which is really handy, and I'm going to be looking into that. Uh, we also went ahead and unlocked Node in a Jar, so you'll see here, it requires 70 of every aspect, and this wand only holds 50, so we already need a wand upgrade, which is what I'm trying to get to, and we just unlocked it, sort of. So I need to unlock the Silverwood Wand Core so that I can unlock the staves uh, and then I should be good to go from there. So let's do that. And I've been kind of rushing through everything. So we're going to do this. And... Scrubbing tools, thank you. And let's see if we can pull this off. So let's do that one. We'll do... Where's Vacuos? Do that one. Oh! That's wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing some of this stuff here at this point. To so do that, to do that. Uh, ooh, and I'm going to need a little bit of Lux. There. That way I can do air and air, and then I can do vacuous in between those. Very good. Now, air also comes out of, well... I have more of this, which has... Arrow, which has... Victus, which has Herba, which has that. Okay, so I, I did it a little bit weird, but it worked. You don't have Ordo, yeah, you really have to try... Okay, Crafting Scepters, that's what I'm looking for right here. So crafting scepters are very handy. They use three wand caps to make, uh, but they store more stuff. 
So I, I'm not going to be doing the Silverwood Wand Core because that requires infusion, and I'm not to that point yet. I mean, I know I, I just unlocked it, but I'm not to the point where I can actually actively do anything with it. So I gotta have to find a way to get around that, you know? Okay, so let's do... Hmm. Here's the last two of the Humanus here. Okay, and then we can combine those together like this and with Ignis, which I can then drag across using... Well, has Ignis in it. I'm gonna need Lux, I think. Do I? What happens if I combine these? Alum. Cool. So that's ice. So I can do that. Actually, that's also very convenient because then I can do this, which Vacuos is a part of. I like that. And then over here, I can do you. Turn you into you, of which Mortis is a part of. Bring it to you. Bring it to you. Look at that, crafting scepters. So let's take a look at this. So crafting scepters. Uh, oh, I forgot about the primal charm. Oh, that's not going to work now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh man, because that means I have to process one of every type of shard. But wouldn't I have to do that anyway for the Silverwood thing? Yeah, the Silverwood requires the exact same thing. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That really just put a wrench in my plans. Hmm. I'm not sure. So at this point, then, I'm, I'm going to have to get into infusion at some point. I know that much. Um, but I'm really going to have to start hunting down shards. That's going to be really difficult with the way uh, everything's configured. Because I still haven't found another area of shards. I, well, there's the fire shards nearby that I think I found. But that doesn't help me with the other five. So I'm going to have to figure something out about that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So, a little concerned as in regards to what I can do there. Now, I recognize I'm probably trying to rush into Thaumcraft a little earlier than I really should be. But at the same time, I think that's just because of the way everything generates. The, uh, the Shard Gen is very... Uh, I'm not. I'm not happy with it. It's it's too scattered. It doesn't really add a layer of difficulty. It just adds a layer of annoyance, because you basically have to travel the entire planet trying to find the occasional shard spawn. You know that it. That's that's not that's not difficulty. That's just yeah. It's it's, it's just annoyance. Uh, so I'm gonna figure something out about that. I might have to lower the. Uh, or I guess increase the spawn rate again. Um, I don't like doing that because it makes me feel a little bit cheaty, but... Oh, can we do it? Oh, so close. Um, but yeah. Oh, level 80. These little XP pushes are doing great. Okay, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of feeling stuck. I did a lot of iron mining, yeah. Uh, it's, it's been mostly a talky episode, I feel like. I didn't really accomplish a whole lot. I did a lot of research, and I did a lot of mining, and I built the smeltery up. And that's kind of it. But you know what? I think that's okay. I do have enough to do one more layer, uh, so I might do that. But I think that's about all I'm going to take care of. I know it's a lot shorter than my usual episodes, and honestly, I think that's, that's more of a good thing because I've been going way over what I've been trying to go uh, the past few days, and I uh, I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to shorten things a little bit, and I think this is a good way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, and I think what I'm gonna do now is load up Anigmatica 2 Expert Mode, 
and see what I can figure out. Well, first I'm going to get some water, then I'm going to do that. So I will see you all later, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, I will have the first part of the new series out very soon. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.